What is up back here with another YouTube video and in case you cannot tell by the title below this video will be video where I share my review of the December 8th 2023 edition of Friday Night Smackdown a special one because it is tribute to the troops and uh, they're in Providence I believe that's Rhode Island based off of my AHL uh, knowledge but either way uh, to kick off the show they had some USA chains because uh, of the tribute to the troops episode they had two people I don't know and didn't recognize both by the name which I immediately forgot and their voices what they looked like uh, sing I think it's either God bless America or God bless the USA I a Canadian that's never left the country uh, don't know for sure which one it is but they sing one of whichever one it was liked uh, their voices yeah, and all of that fun stuff. JBL's on commentary. Put it out on Twitter. I don't know for sure which one is more annoying. Uh, Booker T or JBL. JBL's annoying. Booker T's annoying. But Booker T's like that dumb annoying if that makes sense on on nxt at least santos versus uh dragon lee first round of the u.s uh, uh tournament to become number one contender uh kicks off smackdown and after the entrances both santos and dragon lee uh dirty dom uh, made his entrance because he's facing off against uh, Dragon Lee tomorrow at NXT Deadline, which I'll unable to um, watch because of Christmas parties and uh, whatnot. There was a big uh, Dom You Suck chant, which is uh, definitely on, sometimes on point. Uh, Dragon Lee, again, hits, uh, I call it the bull's horns. Um, I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but it's Roosh from AEW, who I believe Roosh and Dragon Lee are either brothers or cousins. But his finisher, nonetheless, didn't end it off. We want mommy uh, chance uh, for Rhea, even though she was not there. Uh, Santos wins, thought that... Uh, uh, I was up in the air on who would win, but I figured that with Dom being out, and if Dragon Lee lost, Dom would help Santos somehow. Did not happen. Showed highlights of Randy's or Randy's return and a decision from uh, last week. Backstage that kind of led into the backstage thing with Nick Aldis. Randy gave Nick a check. I assume that it was for a fine for RKOing him uh, and all of that stuff. Randy asked about the tag match uh, and. Uh, Nick Aldis uh, explained it. Apparently Randy Orton had no idea who uh, LA Knight was uh, until last week, which if I remember right on commentary, I can't remember if it was for Survivor Series or if it was last week on SmackDown, but one of the commentary team said that, yeah, Randy Orton's kind of sort of somewhat been keeping up to date on WWB stuff. That is untrue uh, kind of deal, given that. Then Cody comes out uh, crowd sings along with his music, again, makes sense, says that on behalf of WWE and him, thanks all, thanks all of the uh, service people, whether they're in attendance or, I think he said around the world, or around uh, the US, either way, thanks them, then he throws to a video package, uh, kind of explaining what tribute to the troops means to, at least to John Cena, goes back to Cody, big uh, USA chance again makes sense. Uh, Cody then says thank you again and this part if I'm using the wrong terminology I apologize. Like I said I'm Canadian I don't know the US terminology when it comes to like Marines, uh, the Army uh, kind of deal. Uh, introduces the US Navy drill team and again if I uh, say the wrong things, I apologize, but uh, there were three men that came out, two of them were holding like drills kind of deal, and they were doing flipping stuff with them, and uh, I was really impressed with it because it looked really impressive. Uh, some football commentary, commentator guy was on commentary uh, for the Lash, uh, Bobby Lashley, uh, Karrion Cross. Uh, kind of deal. Talked about a minute about some football game. Again, I'm Canadian. Football isn't really a big deal uh, up here. And then uh, Lashley came out. Lashley, uh, like I said, came out. He did not come out with uh, the Street Profits, which I found kind of odd. 
uh, and whatnot at that time at least. Mike Rome, uh, I forget again what he said, but Bobby Lashley was in the Marines. He, Mike Rome, listed off which part of the Marines, again, I don't remember off the top of my head. It went into uh, pitcher and pitcher, uh, and Lashley, like one corner was Lashley's entrance kind of deal. Other corner was Lashley talking about the Marines, and he has not aged a day since 2005 or 2006, whenever he made his main roster debut. Uh, you go to commercial, come back, and Montez Ford uh, talks about being in the Marine Corps. I think that's what he was, according to Google, at least, and he, Montez, says that uh, being in the Marines made him the man and the wrestler he is today. I've said it before, I'm not necessarily a big Karrion Cross fan in the ring or on the mic. I will admit, I do like his entrance, and he looks odd with hair. Like, him, like his facial hair, I like it. Looks good on him, not gonna lie. Him with, like, head hair kind of deal on top of his scalp looks odd. And, I, again, I don't know what his name is, but the football commentator guy person said, um, I haven't seen Cross since, like, August. Didn't he lose to AJ Styles? Favorite guest commentator ever, and I don't even know who he is. Uh, I like Bobby Lashley's sparkly trunks, uh, not trunks, tights kind of deal, and that's the only thing that I wrote about the match, because it was predictable lacrosse hasn't been on tv uh in however long and lashley's lashley uh kind of deal backstage promo da uh, dakota kai says that um uh, tells bailey to stay backstage uh and that was a backstage uh thing then top of the hour at nine o'clock cm punk or 901 kind of deal uh come came out or cm punk comes out surprised it wasn't in the uh last uh segment of the night like last 20 minutes or whatever I uh, don't like his uh, shirt, and it's the Hell uh, Froze Over uh, one. Uh, looks like looks at the world title, the one that Seth uh, Rollins has, uh, that a fan had on his shoulder. Loud CM Punk chance, obviously. Uh, and he said, when he said this, I, it made sense. I'm not at the end of the show, and I won't get my time cut. Ooh, snap, uh, and whatnot. Says Pierce has been trying to sign him to Raw. Again, makes sense. Um, it's partly up to the fans where he goes. Asks the crowd if he should go to Raw. Crowd boots. Asks if he goes to SmackDown. Crowd cheers. Alludes to being in the Rumble. Uh, crowd chains his name. And I, to my knowledge, did not hear him say... I'm entering myself into the rumble, but again, he alludes uh, to it. Uh, says, what do you guys want to talk about? Alluding to Cody, uh, that was in the second last segment. Uh, says, people don't like uh, that he's happy to be here in WWE. Fans are excited to be back. And my impression was both people online and wrestlers backstage. It could have He could have just been talking about uh, one of them. And it, he said, it's not uh, what do you guys want to talk about, it's who. And I'm like, oh, hot dang, are we uh, going somewhere? He said... Uh, again, it's not word for word. Uh, do you want me to talk about Cody or do you want me to talk about someone who's never here? And I thought, oh, sugar, honey, iced tea. He's going to mention Seth. And he's like, Roman Reigns. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, don't forget who the OG Paul Heyman guy was. Um, and he lists off, um, he, or he wants to go after, not necessarily go after, but asks, should he go after Jimmy Solo kind of deal? Uh, and says, hey, I need tag partners. I should tag with Randy. Um, but we have history. LA Knight, you guys seem to like him. Uh, what about Kevin Owens? Actually, we're too much alike. So that might not be the best thing, which, again, kind of true uh, and whatnot, kind of, sort of, somewhat. And then he says, you can trust someone who can punch, or you cannot trust someone who uh, can punch other people's backstage. It's 2023, guys. Uh, and that's, again, kind of alluding, to, again, how I interpret it, it to brawl out um, uh, and whatnot. And then um, he says, I'm not going to put any stock into what he says, he being Seth Rollins. Uh, he's not even the man of his household fans, sing Seth's 
entrance. Punk says that he, that's the only thing he has, and like he's a dang good wrestler as well, uh, decent on the mic. And then he will make his decision on Monday, has to listen to peers, Nick Al Aldas and HBK, and his goal is to main event WrestleMania, which, yeah, kind of makes sense. That's at least apparently one of the reasons why he left the WWE the first time. We got the Charlotte Asuka match up next, uh, and then Asuka came out with damage control, like I said, minus a uh, Bailey. And Mia Yim and Zelina Vega attacked uh, Io Sky, Kyrie Sane, leading them to the back. And both Charlotte and uh, Bianca, according to commentary, have to go through damage control if they want a, a shot at the women's title. And I did not take any notes. For this match, it, I don't know for sure why, like, it went through one commercial break, like, a couple of minutes of the match, didn't write any notes, but it felt off, I don't know for sure why, went to commercial break, came back, and both women were lying, um, on the canvas, like, if you're looking at home on TV, it was, like, the far back, uh, one on the left, uh, side, and according to commentary, I didn't see it, so I don't know for sure if it was during commercial, uh, and whatnot, but apparently, uh, Charlotte landed odd on her either neck, upper shoulders, or her head, like that part. And I'm like, uh, that, like, if you're gonna land odd on any body part, your neck, head area, even your upper shoulders, aren't necessarily the best place to do it. She, Charlotte, did a figure eight, looked odd. Again, that could be why. Bailey comes out. Or not comes out. She, yeah, guess technically comes out. Uh, um, helps uh, Oscar get out of the uh, figure eight. Uh, causes a distraction. Oscar wins uh, by a roll up, and it wasn't necessarily a bad TV match. I've definitely seen a lot worse, but I've also seen a lot better Charlotte Oscar matches. Backstage, you got uh, Cody Punk and uh, in Adam Pierce's uh, office. Uh, Cody says to Punk, it sounds like y for you to finish your story, you need to win the Rumble, and that's interesting, because that's also another way that Cody has to get done his story, uh, and whatnot, showed highlights from Logan Paul's, um, uh, thing from last week, love Solo uh, Sokoa's entrance, go to commercial comeback, and it's announced that Roman Reigns will be returning, uh, next week. We got the main event, which was Solo Sikola and Jimmy Uso versus LA Knight and Randy Orton. And this match was what you expected it to be, considering the, in a way, four men involved. Randy Orton, I think it's his third match back. LA Knight and Jimmy Uso, I'm not a fan of. Solo Sikola, Solo Sikoa, uh is good in the ring, uh, enough, or good enough uh, in the ring. And I've said it before, Randy Orton looks fan friggin tastic hard eye emoji uh whatnot but again i'm not saying that this uh was a bad tv main event uh and whatnot like i'm happy i watched it it's just i've again seen better matches on tv uh in the last couple of weeks for both raw and SmackDown, but again, it's one of those things where if I was in person seeing this match, I would have enjoyed it. Uh, LA Knight, Cody Rhodes picked up the victory in, uh, again, good enough match kind of deal. Not necessarily surprised that Randy and LA won because it's Randy and LA right now is pretty gosh darn over uh, with the uh, crowd uh, and whatnot, but yeah, overall good enough tribute to the troops slash uh smackdown episode uh and whatnot if you watched it would love to know what your thoughts are on it down in the comments below while you are down there feel free to hit the like subscribe turn on post notification of course you don't have to if you don't want to but it would mean a lot to myself if you did more importantly hope you guys are doing okay mentally emotionally and physically the world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up. I feel like I'm just lying to myself, lying to myself, yeah. Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside. I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die. I feel like I'm just lying to myself, but it's